Hi everyone, this is John from Cherry Century City. I'm just going to do a very short video to go through some instrument and electronic settings for new owners or uh, anyone who wants to just know some of the basic, basic, basic functions just to get you started. Before I start, I want to just say everything I'm about to mention is on this electronic manual. If you go into it, you can literally just choose whichever section you need help on and it'll it'll get there uh, and you can find whatever I'm saying there but for those of you who like myself prefer auditory learning here we go okay so the first thing you want to do is when you go to phone you want to go in there and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Bluetooth settings and over here where it says vehicle name you're going to tap on that and you're going to rename this vehicle to whatever you want to when you're done with that you click on confirm and then for your phone to pick up this specific bluetooth device in the car you need to set that to on so you just slide that over and then whatever your name is will come up on your phone and you can just pair or link and then you're good to go all right that's how you connect your phone via bluetooth to the actual vehicle going back to your home screen and I do just want to say at the bottom here that's your home screen there if you kind of get lost that's where you go uh, so when I say home screen just click on that all right so you go back to your home screen and then you're going to go to vehicle settings when you go there this auxiliary drive this is really an absolutely cool feature that I love this is concerning your steering wheel now you've actually got three settings you can go click on that you can go to comfort or sport you can't really see that very well there's sport but what I do is on my on my um, elite SE I actually go and I choose that and I choose the associated driving mode and what that does is the following you'll see that goes to uh, I don't know if you can see it now, but it's on. Uh, what that does is it actually turns your steering wheel at a low speed. It'll turn very easily. But as the faster you go, it'll actually stiffen up your steering wheel, especially at higher speeds. And that's what you call that associated driving mode. So that's on. In terms of your steering wheel, I found that to be the, the best setting. With your aircon, you kind of just want to leave those on. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, the color is not very good on this, but it's all on. With your light, you want to go to ambient light. Uh, and if you've got the SE, you can choose your light and you can choose your brightness. Um, yeah. If you've got a cluster, you can choose once again the, the backlight on this whole system, how bright it, you, you want it to be, and you can also adjust your time over there. When it comes to your intelligent key, this is, gives you an option, the courtesy lights that come on when you unlock your car or as you approach it and it unlocks itself, you can either activate that to be on and off. Um, and the reason why they're saying on and off, because some people, if they approach their car at night, they might not want to have their lights on. So you can take that on or off. And then your intelligent key, that's just what I'm saying now, the feature where the car unlocks itself as you approach it, or it locks as as you leave you can actually have that deactivated on or off and you can choose that so you go out and back to your home screen I want to just show you this last little screen on your settings here you've got your wallpaper you can choose a specific wallpaper or a theme go back and you if you click on sound if you're finding that your your actual infotainment center does uh, doesn't sound so good there's all these effects here and the actual sound volume this you might want to look at make sure this media volume is up otherwise whatever is played through your phone you're not going to hear especially your sat nav settings then when you go to Bluetooth, this will show you the devices that are connected. Um, and yeah, it's obviously showing my phone. And then going back to your settings, uh, you can ask for, uh, just to say, allow wake up words. Um, and you can play around here. I do not actually know what that tuner area is. That's got something to do with your radio. Going back out, this is your media button. So... <laughs> Okay, we got some good music there. Now, coming back to your steering wheel, when you press on this once, it's going to do that. And when you press on it again, it's going to ask you, do you want to play your the music through your Bluetooth system? 
clicking it again a third time is going to return to your home screen and the radio so it'll go radio once and then your next two buttons is going to be your music whether you're playing through your usb or the music through your actual phone whether it's spotify or itunes etc going back to your home screen to make calls you can press one of three buttons you can either go down to this one here on the steering wheel that's where you would activate your calls or kill your call at the end but what, whichever one you press they're all going to do the same thing as you press phone it's going to go to that and there it will immediately retrieve all your recent calls any calls in like that orangey red color is going to be a missed call so those are some clients that I've just caught up on or you can manually punch in the number there uh, it'll pick up your contacts and you can also back then go back to your Bluetooth settings all of that from your call feature going back to the home screen that's your your your, your phone button there I hope that helps and uh, as you can see here my phone is on the Android Auto if I'm connected which my phone is and I want to go to Android Auto I'm just going to click on that and that really is the easiest uh, um, the easiest app and the easiest way to access some of the apps that are on your phone via the your cable don't forget the cable that you use for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay must be the cable that came with your phone the original cable I hope that helps people and if there's any questions give me a shout or give your sales executive that helped you a shout and I'm sure they can help